always dealing in these terms of mean? right and wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm not disagreeing. I, I just don't... Understand. The actions to fall... No, I understand. <laughs> I'm just trying to find where reason fits into the argument. Rejecting Christianity, not going along with the crowd, making your own way. Yeah, just living by your own moral code, basically. Yes, thank you. Rejecting the majority, and stand out for your own beliefs. That's implying that there's a general moral code. That means morality's a need. You're kidding, right? James. What? You're not helping. We have a test coming up, and it might be on there, so I'd like to go over it. You're right. Okay. Whoever battles monsters should take care not to become a monster too. For if you stare long enough into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. Yes, and right above that, number 144, he says, when a woman has scholarly inclinations, there is usually something wrong with her sexually. This has to do with what Nietzsche's writing about, right or wrong. We're not judging this. Professor Rose is not asking your beliefs. He's asking Nietzsche's beliefs. All you have to do is look back and see all the horrible things people do to each other. If you knew it was wrong, why would we do it? Exactly. I'm just not agreeing with you. Are you? Hey guys, it's kind of like we spoke about a couple of weeks ago, right? Emmett Till's murderers in the South. In their community, killing somebody like Emmett Till was not wrong, mm -hmm. right? You know, here's this Negro comes down from Chicago, but we know it's wrong. But the thing is, Nietzsche would probably say that they're like the quintessential example of the Ubermensch. They did what they thought was right. Get out. Let's go, get out! I, uh, uh, get up. Get up! Come on. Come on. Get up! Uh, Move! Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. 
Get up. Dig. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Turn around. Don't try anything. Now, pick up this shovel and dig. Why? What? Why what? You're going to shoot me anyway. Why should I dig? I'll bite my fry. You speak that very well. I had a lot of practice. How old are you? Get to work.
Auschwitz wurde mir niemals aufgegeben. Willst du wissen, warum ich dich töten würde? Does it matter? Yes, of course it matters. I don't care. I don't give a fuck whether you care or not, do you understand me? You don't get to decide what's important and what's not important. Stop digging. Stop digging. Stop digging! In lots. My mother, my... My sister, my... I was hiding in a suitcase. I saw the whole thing. I don't remember. Bullshit! You shot them! I shot many people during the war. Why would your family stand out? They weren't doing anything! You shot my baby sister to the head! It went to my mother! I'm sorry, I don't remember. But it's highly unlikely that I was the one that shot them. Shut up! Shut up! You're a liar! I watched you! I watched you! I saw you do it. By the time we were rounding up Jews in Lodz, I was a squad leader. I ordered others to kill, but I never pulled the trigger. You're mistaken. I never shot your mother or your sister. You're wrong. I would be digging in my garden now, with my wife by my side. Perhaps my son. Instead of dealing with this mess in you. Doesn't much matter now, though, does it? We're a fucking Nazi. You killed innocent people. Mothers and fathers. My mother and sister. <laughs> yes. I was. Berger. Unterschachführer. Der Stutzschaffel. I killed people during the war, many of them Jews. But I was just doing my job, following orders. Yeah, I've heard that excuse before. It's just following orders, bullshit. And under whose orders are you functioning now, huh? Your mother was a Jew violating the laws of the occupied countries she was in. Execution was valid on those grounds. I was following the law. And what are you doing here? What law are you following? 
In the end, you are more wrong than I am. How on earth can you justify what you did to me? Would you rather she had been stuffed into an overcrowded rail car and then gassed in the lager, her, her body turned into ashes? What I did was merciful compassion. You ask, how can I justify it? How can you? Wait. You drag me out here, you kick me, you beat me, you order me to dig. Stop. And you dare to ask me, how can I justify it? Stop. What do you hope will come from this? Hey. Killing me won't solve your problems. You're wrong. <laughs> then why haven't you done it? Having a reason doesn't make it any better. You killed my family. And you are killing me. It occurs to me that I don't remember your family because to me they weren't people. They were nothing. Just nothing. Does that hurt? Yeah. Good. What? Two days ago, you came into a cafe. I followed you. I'm sorry. Don't. Don't. I'm not about to ask what happened here. What changed anything? You're wrong. No, I, I'm telling you, I know. This won't ever leave you. You only made it 